welcome to the YouTube channel Plugin Police and Too Many Plugins. Today we're going to talk about DJs and why DJs are illusionists. Uh, a DJ is an illusionist is because a DJ does exactly the same as an illusionist does. It lets you have the perception that you're listening to one thing, but you're actually listening to things together. So um, uh, take an illusionist or a clown who has a ball, uh, has a ball in front of, uh, has two balls in front of you, and makes one ball disappear. It's uh, that kind of phenomenon, or grabs two balls, smacks them together, and they become one ball. So a DJ is an illusionist. Um, uh, the way a DJ gets over there doesn't really matter. He can uh, use uh, quick uh, uh, start and stop points uh, to um, uh, give the public the impression they are listening to the same thing, but you're, it's an illusion. You're listening to two things at the same time, or by jumping quickly from one to the other, like many dub and ragga DJs do, and radio stations, or uh, by blending stuff together, or in the same uh, pitch and BPM, or uh, using half of the BPM to... Uh, uh, so split the BPM in half and uh, mix one track with 60 and another track with 120 BPMs and give you the impression that you're listening to two tracks actually at the same speed while you are not, you know. Um, the DJs are also uh, clowns and uh, I know I'm going to probably get a little bit of backlash of that but believe me, DJs are clowns. As quickly as you as a DJ uh, can have a, a wow moment from the crowd where they're praising you and they love what you do, you can have a moment when they boo you and... Um, and they stick the middle finger up to you, uh, basically. Uh, uh, because uh, what uh, many people, uh, DJs, especially beginning DJs, don't understand is that uh, and uh, uh, that uh, you are there just to please the, the crowd. You're not there to uh, please yourself. And also uh, DJs who say, uh, yeah, I just want to play only the music that I like. Uh, that uh, uh, If that music that you only like is not what the crowd likes, then you can be the best DJ in the world and make the best mixes in the world with the best timings. It doesn't matter because it won't resonate with the audience. So in that sense, you're also a little bit of a clown because as quickly as you can stand up here with your arms in the air in uh, in Jesus pose, uh, you can also very quickly have that uh, what you play doesn't resonate with the people and um, um, so they will boo you and they will... Uh, uh, they will basically uh, cancel you. So uh, DJ uh, is it, always pre presented as some sort of fantastic thing to be, but it's uh, really, really not because uh, you're not there to please yourself. You're not there to play to play the music you want to play. You're play there. You're playing the music they want to hear, and that's just the reality of it. Um, and um, I'll give a good example of that also um, um, about artists in general a little bit. Many people probably don't know this, but Adolf Hitler was actually a um, an artist, and he went to the university. I think it was in Vienna, to the art university. And the film, uh, sorry, art critics in that time, and even today, look at his art and say his art is not bad at all. Uh, but um, uh, it doesn't resonate with people, so he uses very good techniques and uh, he actually is uh, quite good in creating art and he wanted to be an artist, um, but uh, his art just, what he produces just doesn't resonate with people, but when art critics look at his work and say, yes, his work is actually good, but people don't connect with it, you know, and, and that's a little bit also uh, with uh, with a vibe as a DJ and the music that you play. It's uh, Of course, the music that you play, people need to like, and the vibe that you, uh, the story that you're trying to, to tell with your music also needs to resonate with people. Eh? You can... Uh, you can also play a bunch of tracks together that people like the individual tracks, but the way you play them together also doesn't resonate with people, you know. And uh, and uh, art is a little bit like that also. And uh, Adolf Hitler, for example, was himself a failure in that uh, because he really wanted to be an artist and he failed in that. And after that, uh, he went to another uh, direction and it turned out that many years later he <laughs> tried to conquer the world. So, uh, you know, of course, uh, him, uh, the, the emotional state he was in uh, as a failed uh, a uh, field artist uh, uh, brought them to another uh, another extreme. Uh, artists are many times uh, very uh, extreme individuals. Uh, you can look to many many odd artists from the past that. Uh uh, uh, genius and insanity are very close, uh, close related, you know, especially in, uh, in uh, uh, um, how would you call it, eccentric, uh, being eccentric and, uh, and also being a little bit, um, how do you call that, a little bit narcissistic, a little bit uh, self-centered, uh, many, many artists are, and, and uh, um, maybe that's also a little bit something you need to be really, really a good, uh, a good artist, but uh, uh, he was a failure in that uh, because uh, he actually produced, produced 
okay, uh, a good, uh, uh, technically good, good art, but uh, it didn't resonate with people, you know. And the DJ is exactly the same story. And uh, and uh, you should never forget that uh, you need to play what they want to hear, not what you want to hear, you know. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see many people uh, making that go uh, into the world of DJing and uh, say, but, uh, you know, I want to play just what I like to play and I want to put my creativity in it and I want to uh, uh, play to the people and present uh, what I think that they should hear, you know. But uh, if then what you play and what you do also resonates with the crowd and uh, it's really well set up and you're telling a good story with music they want to hear uh, in a way that uh, is pleasing to their ears, then probably you're going to be a success as a DJ. But if you're just over there uh, doing what you want to do, then you're in the wrong business because... Uh, you are there to uh, to please the crowd. You're not there to please please yourself. So in that sense, uh, you are uh, a clown and you are an illusionist because you're giving people the illusion that uh, they are listening to one thing, but they are li actually listening to two or three or four things at the same time. You know, and uh, in 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 all of that, you need to also uh, uh, present a, a coherent story that people understand. Uh, so you cannot go and and also uh, uh, build up and build down. Uh, so you need to build up to something. You need to build down. You cannot be all the time going 180 kilometers per hour and uh, with no brakes and no uh, no uh, build downs and build ups and uh, and risers and and uh, and sometimes a little bit uh, chill out in there also to uh, um, to bring the crowd a little bit down again and then start building up again you know and all of that is uh, is the whole thing of uh, of uh, DJing you know so it's not just a technically with a mixing table or DJ software and a controller mixing stuff together uh, and uh, think that's going to work because you you need to tell a story you need to um, uh, you make it all co uh, be coherent and 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 have build ups and build downs and uh, you cannot also be all the time going low fi and going 50 uh, 50 miles per hour or let's call it bpm you know uh, you know you need to build it all a little bit up you need to build it all a little bit down you need to pick tracks that uh, some are uh, a very high high energy and then the track afterwards is a little bit more uh, mid or lower energy you know uh, to 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 tell a c complete story and to also um, to to let people understand what's really happening. If you always go 180 kilometers per hour, then then the crowd is gonna first of all gonna be burned out very quickly. Second of all, they're not gonna understand what's going on. It's that's uh, too much uh, information overflow, uh, information overload for people to uh, absorb, absorb and and and. Um, uh, go also ups and downs eh, in uh, euphoria. Eh? That's also a lot what uh, DJing is about. Also, uh, you need to build it up, and you need to come to a, a climax and uh, and bring your crowd in a state of euphoria. But in, it's also very necessary that afterwards there's an anticlimax uh, because everything has a beginning, middle, and an end. You know, and that is one of probably one of the most difficult things to do with DJing. Not uh, particularly so much beat matching or uh, you know, and of course picking also tracks that fall a little bit. In the same note, eh, in the same tone, you know, so in the same color, let's call it like that, if you would make a painting, you know, then in music it's like that also, you know, so that's why DJs today, we have the luxury of the chameleon uh, disc where you can see uh, notes uh, in colors and keys in colors, eh, so uh, a B minor and stuff, and you can see that the next track uh, is a little bit close by the same color to keep on... Um, telling a coherent story without jumping from uh, very high notes to uh, to uh, the next track can be perfectly in BPM sync together but then if the notes and the keys are completely different then still you're creating also uh, a very strange uh, jump uh, in uh, in octaves and in and in uh, in uh, in the pitch and uh, the the mood and the color and uh, and um, the, the the notes need to be also a little bit uh, coherent. So uh, and that's one of the most difficult things to do uh, with DJing. So uh, in DJing, I see it like this. Uh, you, and I've done DJing many, many, many years. Uh, you are there to please the crowd. You're not there to please yourself. And as quickly as they wow you and they praise you, they uh, uh, boo you and they uh, stick the middle finger up to you. Uh, and uh, uh, being a DJ is uh, not uh, not easy at all, you know. Uh, uh, for two, also it's very, very, very tiring. Also uh, uh, psychologically, to for many, many hours play, just try it yourself. Just play for an hour and a half or two, uh, some music, uh, mix it together. You'll see how tiring that is, you know. So uh, uh, DJing is uh, always uh, seen as something very easy, and uh, but it's really not. You need to really reach a crowd. You need to feel your people. You need to know also what's going um, going on uh, in the particular. Uh, 
uh, genre that you play, uh, what is kicking, what's not kicking. And of course, you can always be a little bit experimental and uh, try some different things. But uh, in general, you need to be there to please them and you need to uh, to play what they want to hear. And uh, not that you cannot be sometimes a little bit experimental, but uh, then uh, you probably need to go very quickly back to something not experimental what they're used to uh, because uh, uh, you know you can very quickly also shock your crowd and that can also cause the opposite and it doesn't mean that you mix bad or that uh, your techniques were bad but uh, you just shock them by or jumping from one thing to the other or jumping to something that that they are not uh, not used to or uh, or they they're not expecting you know and uh, so it's uh, very much a thing of feeling you know uh, and uh, many people think it's feeling your music and feeling what's coming through your through your headphones but it's actually much more about uh, feeling the crowd and the ambience and uh, and uh, um, of course, uh, there are also things that are then trend uh, orientated. If you're going to start playing things that are really fashion or trendy in the moment, uh, of course, going to help you a lot because that's what people in the moment are listening to, you know. Uh, but um, you can, of course, be more experimental and uh, you don't need to be so mainstream and go really uh, uh, trend uh, chasing, but uh, you still need to play what people want to play. So in the end, you are an illusionist because you give people the illusion they are listening to two things three or four and you give them the impression they're listening and the illusion that they're listening to one thing but you need to also uh, uh, your music and your mixes and uh, your vibe needs to resonate with the crowd and if it doesn't do that then you're in the wrong business so but that's my opinion about DJing and what I think of DJing that I think it's illusionism and that uh, in the end uh, you can stand there like Jesus with your hands up in the air but in the end you are just a clown, you're there clowning, you, you're there to please them, you're not there to please yourself. So there you go, until the next time, stay safe, take care, I'll catch you in the next one.